Next up, our top news story. Colleen ISD is getting new metal detectors and they are taking other measures this year to keep the kids safe. The school district discussed those new safety measures and COVID concerns at a press conference this morning. Six News reporter Andrew Moore is here tonight for us with all the details. Andrew? Clean ISD Super uh, Superintendent John Kraft says the district is taking multiple steps to improve physical security, but when it comes to COVID, they need people to take personal responsibility and whether to wear that mask or not. Here's what we learned today. We are, are unfortunately having to really analyze our facilities top to bottom. Colleen ISD is making multiple changes this year, and Superintendent John Kraft says that starts with additional metal detectors. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a different type of system um, that uh, allows for faster processing. These new detectors will be mobile and will rotate between several campuses over the course of the year. Kraft says they will also be used at sporting events. In addition, they are now putting a much sharper focus on keeping doors locked. The campus staff will actually be conducting checks and keeping logs uh, of these checks to ensure, like I say, that we're, we're safe. Additionally, Kraft says the district will need to be vigilant in dealing with COVID, but they will be leaving it up to the individual to self-check symptoms and wear a mask if needed. This comes after the CDC actually loosened COVID guidelines in the past week. Guidelines have sort of relaxed about quarantining. People may not be expected to bring in test results. Schools may be not asking for test results before the children come back. Baylor Scott and White's Dr. Ari Rao says COVID is now getting much closer to the flu in severity of health issues. The bad news, Rao expects both viruses to be a significant factor this year. You think about the flu season also being uh, expected to be fairly substantial and then there is the burden of COVID and other respiratory diseases. I think overall it doesn't matter if you have COVID or flu or RSV, it's good to stay at home. And that leaves parents thinking about both safety and sanitation as the school year starts. And Ralph says we can normally guess how bad the flu will be in America by looking at recent results in Australia and Australia had a rough time this year. So keep washing those hands when the kids go back to school this fall. Chris.